It was day one of the jury selection in the trial against Daryl Brooks, the man accused of killing six people at the Waukesha Christmas Parade last year. Now Brooks showed up to court in a new look, clean shaven and in a suit, but quickly turned the proceedings into chaos. Miriam McCarr has the latest from the courtroom. It didn't take long for Daryl Brooks to throw jury selection way off of schedule. I'm not consenting to anything you say until you can answer the questions that I'm asking. After countless outbursts. I'm not going to let you intimidate me into believing. Mr. Brooks, I'm not I'm intimidating you. Because yeah, you, you can't. And you see that. And the judge calling over 10 recesses. You do not have the right to be that disruptive. Judge Doro put him in a separate courtroom and muted his microphone. He has repeatedly interrupted this court. He has refused to follow the most simplest of standards despite being given the uh, rules of courtesy and decorum for the courts of Wisconsin. The chaotic start delaying the trial by hours. While in the other room, you can see Brooks animatedly talking and gesturing, even though his mic was off. Just over 100 jurors were brought in on Monday, but only 41 were questioned. When the judge asked Brooks if he'd like to dismiss any of the jurors, he said, quote, I want them all stricken, the whole group gone. When asked why, Burke said it was obvious why and he didn't want to elaborate any further. By the end of day one, seven were excused of the first group of 41 and court adjourned two hours later than planned, still leaving a long way to go until reaching that final group of 16 jury members. At the end of tonight's proceedings, the judge did say that Brooks will be allowed back in the courtroom for tomorrow's proceedings. Reporting in Waukesha, Mary McCarr for TMJ4 News. Now, once the jury has been seated, TMJ4 News will stream the Brooks trial live. You can watch it gavel to gavel coverage on TMJ4.com and through our free TMJ4 News app. Well,